el chisme. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Mary Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Get rock on those stairs. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe button, that little bell right next to it. That way, you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like and comment down below. Guys, what's good? Welcome back to a brand new Cheese Mary Report. In today's report, we're going to be talking about Lada Mayado, Cassie MUA, and one person I don't really talk about in this channel, but I've spoken about him once. He goes by James Charles, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows who James Charles is. Well, people were asking me, Danny, do you know what? happened to Cassie, Laura's, and, you know, James' friendship because they used to hang out a lot. And I do have a close source to that group or at least to Laura and Cassie. But guys, as always, before we get into it, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back and relax. First things first, if you guys don't know, or if you guys do know, Laura, Cassie, and James Charles were actually friends. They used to go out. You know, James Charles was actually always kind of invited to Laura's boutique to you know the parties they had we all seen James in Laura's channel and just little by little they stopped hanging now and let me tell you why guys well if you guys missed it because I know some of you guys don't know what you know has been going on you guys don't follow the James Charles news but James Charles in the past year he's been accused a lot of times of messaging teenagers and yes don't get me wrong one or two people actually came out and said you know i accused james charles of doing this but he never did this but others actually came out and showed the evidence showed the proof there was this one kid i believe he was 16 years old you know he was talking to james charles because you know he was influenced by james charles that was his like one of his favorite youtubers influencers whatever you want to call it but james charles was actually sending him nudes via snapchat mind you james charles was 21 at the time and this kid was 16. talking about grooming and james charles so if you get triggered by any of those Keep scrolling, but if not, watch this video, please. So last Wednesday on the 17th, uh, James Charles snapped me on Snapchat. He added me back because I had snapped him a while ago, just like a fan to influence your conversation. This is the notification that I got when he Snapchatted me first. And just for further proof, he deleted the chat. I don't know what he deleted, but that's me opening his Snapchat. I went into the bathroom and I guess he saw the bathroom light. So he started making the conversation very sexual and it made me really uncomfortable. And I'll post some of the stuff that he sent me now. You can't see it because it's blurry because I took it on my iPad because I don't want him to see that I screenshotted it, but I'll post it right now. He proceeded to send me explicit pictures of his body. After sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that, and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why. And this is what he said. It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So now I'm a big believer of what James Charles does to other people. And it sucks because he has so much going for him. So I don't even want to say after that video, because this was one of like a lot of videos, like kids coming out, exposing James Charles. Um, after that, you know, people started talking about James Charles, that he should be in jail because he's actually talking to minors guys he's a grown man talking to minors and people strongly do feel like he should be behind bars and one of these people was actually ethan klein from the h3 podcast if you guys missed an episode i did make a whole video about like a year ago about that situation that happened and ethan klein actually called out laurel's boutique for actually promoting james charles and stuff like that but ethan had this to say by, by brands like laura's boutique laura Fuck you. <laughs> what is Laura's boutique? Young women's fashion. Oh boy. Here, you get 30%. Right now it says on Laura's boutique, you get 30% off your entire order if you use code LB loves you. I also heard you get 30% off if you type James Charles, uh, James Charles solicited nudes from me when I was under age. So that's a little background. If you guys did not know the type of person James Charles was, and it kind of comes, I don't want to say full circle, but kind of comes back to Laura because 
Today, I actually posted, uh, you know, a Q and A and I had people ask me questions. And one of those questions was, do we know why James Charles doesn't hang out with Cassie, MUA, Lauda and all of them anymore? And I actually responded. I was straight up and said, maybe because they don't want to be associated with that guy uh, that messages little kids, LOL. I would, I do the same, to be honest, wouldn't want to be around him. Obviously, guys, I thought this was a situation once they heard, you know, James Charles actually, you know, messaging minors, getting caught, admitting that on camera because we all saw his apology video. He actually said, yes, I'm sorry I did that. Whatever the case was, they wouldn't want to be associated with him. But apparently that's not the case. But a source close to that, I want to say friend group with Lauda, Cassie, um, actually had this to say, they still hang out, but only post it on close friends. And if you guys don't know what close friends on Instagram is basically the person, let's say I want to post something and I only want a few selected people to watch that. I go through my Instagram feed, select the people and the people I select are the only ones that are going to watch my story or see my story. And my source is in that close friends. Um, like I said, I'm not going to mention who it is, but the source is saying, yeah, they still hang out. But Laura Cassie is making it seem like, yo, we're not associated with him or we don't want to look like the bad ones. But yo, I mean, I get James Charles is a big celebrity or not even celebrity, but influencer. Why would you want to be associated with someone that talks and sends nudes to minors. Just put yourself in that spot position. Laura has kids. Would Laura want someone, you know, actually talking to her kids when they're in their teenage years and this person is like over 21? Like seriously, like why associate yourself with the guy and then lie about it? So they still hang out with him low key. A lot of people have been saying, yeah, they still hang out on the low key, like straight up Lauda and Cassie don't want to seem like the bad person in front of you guys in front of the camera for hanging out with James Charles, because I'm telling you they got or not they, but James Charles got a lot of heat for actually going out and speaking to minors. And imagine if, you know, Lauda and Cassie were still in the public eye talking to James Charles, how much heat would they get? I mean, Lauda's boutique got heat for actually posting James Charles or actually promoting James Charles because I believe James Charles had a call with Lauda boutique, but yeah, that little flame, that little thing that Ethan Klein said on the H3 podcast might've scared Lauda and said, yo, we're not gonna be associated in the public eye but we could still be friends a low key but i don't know a lot of people have mixed feelings about james charles i don't i know where i stand with him uh he's a creep he's a weirdo for talking and sending nudes to minors but if you think otherwise comment down below do you think you know um laura and cassie should be hanging out with a weird guy i don't even want to say the p word but you guys know what i mean but guys it gets better not only is laura fake with james charles or I don't even say Lauda is the only one, but that friend group, um, you know, my source just said Lauda and her friend group. I'm not sure who, el who else is in the friend group, but allegedly Lauda is talking behind Alondra and Benny's back saying that they only had a baby for clout. But then at the same time, Lauda was also pregnant with when Alondra was pregnant. That friend group tried saying that Alondra and Benny only got pregnant for clout because family channels are more engaging. Oh, the irony is that Lada was also pregnant at the same damn time. Yo, I don't know, but if this is actually true, that is so fake. Like Lauda, I believe still comments under, you know, Alondra's post and stuff. And I don't see Alondra actually responding to her comments, but maybe that's why, like maybe, you know, Alondra knows she's a fake. <laughs> But yeah, guys, leave your comments, concerns down below, because I feel like after this video, there's more things that are going to come out. And if they do come out, 
you know where to you know you know who's gonna report the news to y'all the cheese report right here so if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button like and do all that good stuff guys but other than that this is gonna be the end of the cheese report hopefully you guys did enjoy it i know this wasn't like something in the news right now but i don't know i just feel like i had to make a video this situation should have been talked about like months ago years ago but yeah i don't know I finally decided to make a video on it. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Danny and I'm out. Peace.